Hello everyone, this is Miss Gabby. If you're following along with our 2020 summer reading program, Dig Deeper, this is week three and our theme is nature and botany. So today we are going to be reading The Golden Glow by Benjamin Flo. Let's get started. Every evening, sitting in his armchair, Fox likes to leaf through old botany books, looking for the next new photo to add to his collection. What's this? A page with no picture? The golden glow is a plant from the whale, hi from the whale hidden family. It is very rare and only grows high in the mountains. No specimen has ever been described. This sounds like a fabulous, fascinating flower. Tomorrow, I'm off to the mountain in search of it. Oh, wow, look at all of Fox's hiking gear. Before bedtime, Fox gets his backpack ready, making sure not to forget. A snack grape pate sandwich, his favorite. A notebook, a pencil, a warm sleeping bag, a hat with two little holes in his for his ears, a full water bottle, that's important, stay hydrated, a flashlight, a compass, a small tent, and a waterproof jacket. Awesome. The sun isn't even up yet, but Fox is ready. He has a long day's walk ahead of him. With his trusty compass and a map in his hand, there's no danger that he'll get lost. There he is with his map and his backpack full of great hiking deer gear, and there are the mountains. The forest is quiet and peaceful first thing in the morning. Only a few birds are awake and chirping. And there goes the fox. Fox studies the plants and trees that line the path. They're all ones he's seen before. He knows the name of each tree he walks under. There's, so here's a fir tree. There's a oak tree. Uh, this one's a beech tree. And that one's a spuce. Next is the ash tree. And then there's the famous maple. And there's the maple leaf. And then at last is the sturdy larch. Wow, look at all those trees. As he nears a river bank, Fox catches sight of Bear, leisurely fishing for salmon. Good morning, Bear. Maybe you can help me. I'm on the hunt for the golden glow, a fabulously fascinating flower. I don't know what it looks like, but I do know it's very rare. Every day I come to the river to fish and every day I see some flowers. Most of them are beautiful, but none of them are rare. You should talk to Marmot. She knows all of the mountain mountain plants, but she isn't easy to find. Ooh, a mission. There's the bear and Mr. F and Fox talking to him. He has to go find Marmot. Fox looks under slabs of rock, inside hollow stumps, and in an old earthen burrows. But no, Marmot, where can she be hiding? Hmm, where's Marmot? It's almost noon and Fox is hungry. He sits on a fallen log and pulls one of his great pate sandwiches out of his backpack. Good thing he packed some food. A snout pokes out from the bush across the way, followed by two pointy ears. Its nostrils sniff the air for a whiff of the irresistible grape pate. Fox recognizes his cousin Wolf right away and invites him over to share his snack. I've never seen the golden glow, Fox, but I do know where to find Marmot. As soon as I'm done with this delicious sandwich, I'll take you to her. I'm as hungry as a wolf. Ha. Huh. Get it? He's a wolf and he's hungry as a wolf because he's a wolf. Ha. Huh. After a long trek through the forest, Fox and Wolf finally reach a large, steep clearing dotted with flowers of every color. Wow, how pretty! Look at all those flowers! Wow, such beautiful flowers! No need for an encyclopedia here. Fox can name all of them. Wow, impressive. 
there's the anemones, there is the moss campion, the violets, veronica, purple saxifrage, the mountain sorrel, the forget-me-not, the butterwort, and mountain avens. Beautiful. Placing a long blade of grass split down the middle onto his lips, Wolf sounds a shrill whistle. And Marmot pops out from behind a rock. Do you see Marmot? There he is! And how smart of it was it for Wolf to use a blade of grass to make a whistle? Incredible. The Golden Glow. Yes, I have seen it. Beautiful, unforgettable, unforgettable, but rare. You have to climb right to the top to the summit. Fox sets off again, leaving Wolf and Marmot behind. He walks quickly, excited to be so close to his goal at last. Oh, and there's Marmot telling him where the flower is. And there he is saying goodbye to his friends to go on top of the summit. I wonder if he'll make it on top. Little by little, billowing clouds fill the sky. Fox climbs so high that he finds himself stumbling through a dense fog. Suddenly, a strange shape looms into view. Who could it be? Oh, wow! It's Mountain Go, balanced on a boulder reading a book. There's no point going any higher, Fox. Nothing grows at that altitude, but if you're bound and determined, take this walking stick to help. Oh, that's so nice of him to share his stick. Fox has already climbed a good portion of the mountain, but the hardest part is yet to come. So if you look down here, this is 3,300 feet, which is the foothill zone, 6,200 feet, which is the mountain zone, 8,200 feet, which is the subalpine zone, 9,800 feet, which is the alpine zone, and up here is the snow zone. And there's a map of him going all of his journey so far, going all the way up into the top of the mountain. Even so, Fox doesn't get discouraged, and soon he's made his way out of the clouds to be greeted by the sun. But he finds not a single flower on the summit. Nothing but rocks and snow. The day is fast drawing to a close. Fox has to hurry to set up camp before nightfall. Oh, that's too bad. Once he's pitched his tent and rolled out his sleeping log, Fox sits himself down to watch the sunset. As he lays his walking stick on the ground, he feels something brush, brush against his paw. Oh, wow, what could it be? Hidden under the snow is a fabulously fascinating flower. It must be the golden glow. Just as he reaches over to pick up the flower, Fox changes his mind. Wow, what a beautiful flower. This golden glow is more beautiful here on the mountaintop than it would ever be in a vase in his living room. He opens his backpack and pulls out his notebook and pencil. Oh, he's just gonna leave it there. But it does look more beautiful on the mountain. He's right about that. Then, studying the plant from every angle, he begins to draw. His pencil takes note of every detail. The stamen, the pistol, the petals, the, sep the sepals, and the stem. Wow, what a detailed drawing. That's fantastic. Back home the next day, he'll put all of his drawings into his botany book so that in the evening, sitting in his armchair, he will never forget just how fabulously fascinating his golden glow is high up on the mountain top. Wow. He's back home. Well, that's the end of our story. Make sure to follow along with the rest of our summer reading content this summer. Until next time, bye!